everybody. I'm Victor Zarb with the Cardiac Wire Show, and I'm joined here by Dr. Valerie McLaughlin of the University of Michigan to talk a little bit about the new encouraging results on Winrevere and the Zenith trial. Uh, so with that started, uh, go ahead and give me a little bit of background on uh, the clinical trajectory and uh, research behind um, Winrevere and where we are now. Yeah, Victor, thank you for having me so much, and thank you for covering this important topic. You know, Winrevere was approved about a year ago based on the phase three stellar trial, which looked at Winrevere versus placebo in patients with PAH who are already on background therapy. And that trial was a really impressive trial, Victor. It hit the primary endpoint of six minute hall walk by about 40 meters and eight of nine of the secondary endpoints consistent throughout the subgroup. So we've been using that drug commercially for about a year here in the US, but there's an entire development program around Win Revere that also looks at different stages of the disease. And the Zenith trial, which is being presented here at ACC, is a trial looking at patients with more advanced PAH functional class three and four, high reveal risk score. And so with those results, I mean, are we going to see uh, a change maybe in practice guidelines or uh, care recommendations using Winrevere? Yeah, so the, the let's talk about the Zenith results first, because I think this is a really important point. High risk patients, reveal score is high, heavily pretreated. The patients who were randomized to Winrevere did much better than those who were randomized to placebo. The primary endpoint, was a very unique primary endpoint. It was hard events. It was death, PAH hospitalization, and lung transplantation. And there was a 76% risk reduction in that primary endpoint in the patients treated with Winrevere. In fact, that was so impressive that it was stopped early by the DSMB at the time of a pre-specified interim analysis. So really impressive results in these very sick patients. And so moving forward with these impressive results, what can we expect next? I mean, we're uh, obviously going to be waiting for the analysis from Hyperion, even though it was stopped early. Uh, what can we expect next for Winrevere? Yeah, so Hyperion, as you said, is important. It was in the earlier phase, patients diagnosed within the prior year, and hopefully we'll have those results within the next year. I think we'll learn more about Winrevere and the advanced patients from further analysis in the Zenith trial as well. That you know more details about the impact on hemodynamics, for example. Well, we really appreciate your time today and educating us more about Winrevere. And uh, thank you for your time, Dr. McLaughlin. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you for having me.